Hey team, it's me Sean T. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, make sure that you are subscribed and also hitting that bell icon so that you are notified every time that I upload. Now, as you can tell by the thumbnail and the title of this video, we are going skin deep using the at home derma roller. I did mention this in one of my previous videos. However, I didn't get to film anything with this. So today I have just shaved, excuse the plaster on my finger, moving on. Now just before I jump into this video, I'm going to use my Ashley & Co lip balm just to get some moisture locked into these lips because uh, no thanks dryness. This one here has castor oil, jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, fruit extracts and also flower extracts as well. It has beeswax too, which is so moisturizing. It feels like it's putting like a coating or a barrier over my lips, as you can see. But if you guys are wanting to pick this one up, I will link the website to Ashley & Co down below. And also if you are from New Zealand, you can also pick this one up from Smith & Coey's. All right, I'm gonna jump off camera and splash my skin with a bit of water. And then I'm gonna jump on and then cleanse my skin and I kind of get it to a reset because lately I just haven't been paying attention to uh, my face because I've just been covering it with a mask. So I don't know, do we feel like the mandates are gonna lift? I'm kind of a little bit nervous about it, but I am super excited to have some house parties. No, <laughs> I'm, kidding. I'm totally not having house parties. Now I'm gonna jump off camera and uh, get this skin splashed. I will be right back with some cleanser. All right, so we are back and we are splashed. Now, just before my fan dries this water out, <laughs> I'm gonna jump straight into my cleanser. Now I'm currently using the Simple Moisturizing Facial Wash. This one here is 100% soap free and is also kind to your skin. So I have been using this for maybe about a month. I am sort of missing the Ordinary brand that I was using a couple of months ago. I will link that video up in the corner for you guys to check out as well. Uh, I just find it was running out really quickly. It was good. It's just the accessibility to it. I guess I just can't be bothered going to farmers because I feel like that that's where you can pick them up. However, I was purchasing from Beauty Bliss, I think it was. All right, I am going to speed this up. <laughs> Right, we're all mixed in, so I'm going to jump off camera, rinse this off, and I will be right back with the next step. Now this one here is the Asano Hydrating Rosehip Hyaluronic Moisture Serum, and this one here I'm going to just pop straight over the skin here. Now this one here is powered with hyaluronic acid, rosehip, and pentavidins, which is a plant-derived glucose, similar to that found in the carb complexes of the human skin. Now this one has no parabens, GMOs, and is also not animal tested. So hopefully we found a winner. This is the packaging here, quite cute. I feel like a lot of brands are going to that like pink or like baby pink, light pinks, like Kylie Cosmetics, uh, Monday Hair Care, uh, Exo Beauty. I just feel like it's just not for me. If I was to bring out a cosmetic brand, it probably wouldn't be pink. We're gonna test this product out. That was a bit difficult to get off. It says apply one to two pumps, morning and night, follow with your favorite moisturizer or night cream. Okay, I was thinking of doing a toner, but I feel like I'm not gonna do that. So we are just gonna jump straight into this rosehip oil. So one, one, two, whoa, it's like creamy. I was not expecting that. I was expecting it to be like a more oily or runny. Let's just apply that. Mmm, it smells good. It kind of smells like 
<laughs> this is such a weird description, but hair lime cream. Do you guys remember that? Definitely giving the vibes. It's very lightweight. It's not greasy at all, which I love, actually. But considering it, I was expecting oil, hmm, interesting. Now, just before I start this derma roller here, I am going to make sure that she's sanitized. So you must always, always make sure that these are nice and clean once you use them and straight after. So I'm going to jump off camera, do that, and I will be right back. All right, we're back. I'm going to use this little hand mirror here. It's super tiny. I wish that I had like a bigger handheld mirror. Do you feel me? I feel like my skin around hair is getting better. This area seems to get a lot drier now. I'm not too sure why. Maybe, I don't know, I don't exfoliate that often, so I don't know what it is. Maybe it's all the wind. I don't know. Comment down below if you feel like you know what's going on. Now, disclaimer, just before I jump into this, this is not recommended for everybody. Definitely not the faint-hearted as well, because it definitely is not the best feeling. Now, I'm going to just start rolling lightly across the skin without dragging. I'm just slowly moving it upwards. And what this is gonna do is just create little wounds in the skin. If you've ever like grazed your knee or had any sort of skin injuries, they heal back or they get scarred. So depending on how big the wound is, your skin can actually heal itself over time. Now, I originally started doing micro needling with Casey Clinic about three years ago. I feel like I've told this story. I was on a payment plan, so I was paying, I think it was $60 a fortnight or so. I feel like it's, like it was definitely beneficial. They gave me this at home kit, obviously, and I saw them maybe three times a month max. Every time that I would go in, I came out feeling spectacular and a little like Dracula because my face was pretty much this color the whole way around. So as you can see the difference there. So we've created some sort of wound there. And then uh, over the next few days, Hopefully she's looking a little clearer as well. And now over these areas here, it's very sensitive. So I don't go too hardcore. And I don't go too fast either. I try to make this feel as relaxing as possible. I mean, as much as you probably could with needles stabbing into your face. <laughs> you also want to make sure that you're not running into the hairline, picking up any unnecessary oil or sweat and just pretty much plugging it right back into your pores. So then after this, I would go in with some product. I'm probably going to go back in with that hyaluronic, to be honest. I feel like that that's my best bet. I would normally do like a rosehip oil or even like a vitamin C type of serum. Now I tend to do this all over the face just so like the whole face is getting a chance. <laughs> Let's do it close up. And so I normally run it across a couple of times if the area is looking a little full on. Sometimes I love doing this, sometimes I hate it. I don't know. I just feel like it's a mood type of thing. Look at my lips. They look so nourished. I feel like this side is my most problematic side, so I tend to do like a double over. Just to make sure we're covering all our bases, and then I'll do over the nose here, just quite faintly. And run it straight up here. I feel like I need like some sort of Botox slash filler in my forehead because, hi, wrinkles, no thanks. Now I am going to jump off camera, clean this off, and sanitize that then pop it away nice and safely. So I will be right back. Okay, I am gonna sanitize my hands using this brand here. I actually hate this because it's like super runny. It's like, 
what? And I hate screw tops. Like, I don't really want to touch something with my dirty hands and then sanitize them to close the lid back up. This smells okay though. And the after feeling is nice. Like it's not long lasting or lingering. Now I'm going to pop on a bit more of the hydrating rose hip. I'm going to do probably three or four pumps just because I feel like that too didn't really like, I mean it covered something but you know we want some action happening and obviously you want clean hands as well because you may find that you're bleeding and so you don't want anything dirty going into your skin. I mean up to you doll. All right. It's nice and relaxing. I was actually thinking of doing like a seasons series. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I was going to start filming that today, but I just felt like the skin needed some love, some self-care, and some TLC. I'm going to pop a bit of this Nivea Sun Protect and Moisture on top, just to give it that extra moisture and a bit of SPF never hurt anybody. So, let's pop her on. I probably shouldn't have used as much, because I can kind of feel that going into my skin. I mean, it's not like irritating, but I can feel it tingling. Looking glossy, giving shine and sheen. That's S H double E N. Okay. And that is pretty much my skin routine at the moment. Now, I feel like I could do with a bit more hyaluronic acid, which I will pick up. I could probably start exfoliating a little bit more as well, but. I will just monitor and observe how this area is going because if it is going to get a little bit flaky, maybe that's indicating that it needs a little bit of a scrub girl. So let's just hold off on that. And maybe next week I will do a bit of makeup for you guys. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I'm just going to pop a bit more of this lip balm on. I use this every night, every morning every afternoon it's bomb and i'm not getting sponsored or it's this isn't an ad for them either so anyway team thank you so much for joining me on this little self-care indulging session if you enjoyed this one please make sure that you give it the big thumbs up and if you haven't already make sure that you are subscribed to my channel, hitting that bell icon so you're notified every time that I upload. You can join me on all of my socials, it's me, Sean T, and remember, stay safe, take care, and always be kind. See you on the next one. Bye! Now this one says it is powered with hyaluronic acid, rosehip, and pentavitin. Did I say that right? I don't, I've never heard of that before. Pentavitin? I'm gonna look that one up. Let's search what that means.